All right, everyone, thank you so much for being with us here on Live Now from Fox. We do appreciate it, and our coverage of the Queen's passing does continue right now as we do expect King Charles III to arrive over in England and address the nation. Over in England, we do have Fox News' Lauren Blanchard, who does join us live right now to give us a look at what's going on there. Lauren, thanks for being here. Sure. Good morning, Josh. So as you mentioned, King Charles III will give a speech later today. That's going to happen about 1 p.m. Eastern if folks want to tune in. Um, we are not sure exactly what we'll hear from him, but likely the king will give us an idea of what he plans to do with the monarchy. Remember, uh, the queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth II, now the late queen, uh, reigned for 70 years. And in that time, she was able to do so much, go to so many places, meet so many world leaders. So it'll be interesting to see what King Charles III plans to do with his time on the throne. Today, uh, not only will he be giving that speech, but he will also be meeting with the new prime minister, Liz Truss. He and his wife, Camilla, the now queen consort, uh, they're headed from Scotland here to London. We're looking at about 10 to 12 days of uh, funeral activities, different events um, over the next week and a half or so. We know the Queen will have a vigil in Scotland, uh, then her coffin will be brought here to London. Folks will be able to pay their respects. There will be a funeral at Westminster and then she will be buried at Windsor. Uh, we're not exactly sure what precise day that funeral is going to be. The royal family has not officially announced it, um, but obviously a lot of folks are going to be coming out over the next days remembering the life and the legacy of Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah, Lauren, so what are you seeing out there? Because I know you have been out there for a bit. It appeared yesterday that we saw those crowds really start to build outside of Buckingham Palace. Are they still over there, I imagine? Well, Josh, my crew actually got here this morning and it took us an extra long time to get downtown London because of the number of people who are trying to come into London to go down towards the palace to pay their respects. And as you drive into town, there are billboards everywhere remembering the queen, um, different photos of her, the front pages of newspapers all dedicated to this. Uh, a lot of people on these streets what, during which was earlier a very rainy morning here in London and we expect them to continue just moments ago. Josh, a 96 gun salute wrapped up. Uh, just one of many, many salutes and uh, remembrances that will happen for the Queen. Yeah, and I do remember, of course, that uh, we did listen to that right now. What was the mood like around then when that gun salute was going off? Well, it's just really powerful to hear every single one of those, of course, for every one of the years of her life, 96 years old. All right, thank you so much, Lauren Blanchard with Fox News. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.